Hey guys, Tyra here, and today I'm going to be covering a few of the most commonly asked questions regarding bulletins, followed by a couple of my recommended loadouts for each faction, and then finally, a few extra resources at the end where to look for more information about bulletins. So getting started on some bulletin basics, do they stack? Well, as you can see here, I've got three different anti-tank gun penetration bulletins, 2%, 3%, and 4%, all in the same loadout, and yes, they will stack, and they stack through multiplication rather than addition. So it will be the anti-tank gun's penetration value times 1.02, times 1.03, times 1.04, rather than times 1.09, which would be all of them added together. You may have also seen some older information regarding stacking the same bulletin, but you can no longer get bulletin duplicates, so you can just disregard that information. When it comes to what bulletins you should be selecting for your loadout, generally I recommend going for infantry bulletins. You get infantry right at the start of the game and you'll be playing with them throughout the entire match, so you get the impact from the bulletin throughout most of the match. Whereas when it comes to vehicles, it might be like 30 minutes before you get a heavy tank on the field, so going for something like a heavy tank bulletin doesn't really make sense because you won't be able to experience those benefits for much of the game, and the bulletin values don't really get any larger to compensate for that shorter period of time so they're still like you know 10% faster veterancy exactly the same as you'll see on say the maxim so yeah I do recommend going for infantry or team weapon bulletins over vehicle bulletins so another very common question is which type of bulletin is best for a select unit in the case here of conscripts we have an accuracy bulletin we have a reload bulletin we have a cooldown bulletin and we have a reload and cooldown bulletin. Which one of these results in the best performance for your infantry? Accuracy is number one. Even if you're fighting the enemy point blank, your squads are still going to be missing shots, so you're still getting a bonus from having improved accuracy, and accuracy gives you a bonus no matter how long the engagement, short or long, you don't have to worry about reload cycles or anything like that. Accuracy gives you a consistent damage upgrade. When it comes to the others though, it's not quite so clear, so I made up this nice table we have the silver one the three percent reload so here we have the conscripts reload time 2.9 seconds bulletin bonus three percent so this is the time you save 0.087 seconds a very small amount of time this bulletin is trash and we come to the cooldown section cooldown is 1.5 seconds bulletin bonus is 0.055 percent Time saved per shot then is 0.075 seconds, but you shoot nine shots before you reload, so you go through eight cooldown cycles, which results in a total time saved of 0.6 seconds per firing cycle, which is obviously clearly vastly superior to the just plain 3% reload bulletin. And then finally here for 2% reload and 2% cooldown, same things here, but we got 2% bonuses here results in a total time saved of 0.298 seconds per firing cycle. So cooldown is number one, reload and cooldown is number two, and reload alone is number three. Obviously you want the accuracy above this, so this should never be included in your loadout. So now I'll go through every faction left to right on this loadout with some recommended bullets and loadouts with a couple different strategies. So here we have the conscript spam one, as we learned earlier, Conscript accuracy is good, cooldown is good, reload and cooldown is also good. You could switch that one out though for Molotovs if you really enjoy using Molotovs. So one thing to be aware of is that this Conscript anti-tank grenade range only works for the ability from Tank Hunter Tactics, not for the regular anti-tank grenade. So don't be tricked, only equip this if you're using Tank Hunter Tactics. So here's my recommended team game loadout. You notice that the Katusha is in here and I recommended against using vehicle bulletins earlier. But this is so important, rocket artillery is so important in team games and rocket artillery gets much better, gets its massive bonuses at VET 2. So the quicker you can get your rocket artillery to VET 2, the quicker it will just destroy the enemy and rocket artillery is just so important in team games. So that's why this is in here, the Katusha 10% veterancy is very good. And then guards are also very popular in team games, so you have two guards bulletins in here, the 2% hardest hit, 3% increased sight, and 3% more accurate. Here's my penal troop loadout, first one up, penals have 3% more accuracy, that's obviously a no-brainer, 
Then we have penal spill 10% more quickly. I included this one because generally when you go for a penal trick build, you have to build your tier one straight away. Leads to a very slow start, very poor map control early. So getting those first few penals out onto the field more quickly thanks to this bulletin actually does make a really nice impact in the early game. And then finally, barbed wire and mines build faster. Generally when you go for a penal troop build, you go for two combat engineers. So you have plenty of potential for building mines. So this is a really nice bulletin for that kind of synergy. And this bulletin is just generally good. You could fit this into just about any Soviet loadout. For maxim spam, what I recommend is you use the 4% increased rate of fire bonus. Generally with machine guns, what you want is more suppression over damage. And what I hear is that this does give you more suppression, more, much more than uh, the 1% uh, increased suppression, which is in here somewhere. So yeah, I recommend this bulletin. Similar to the penal troops, 10% faster build times on maxims. Very helpful if you're going like hard maxim spam, just pulling the text structure straight away and then just going straight into maxims. Maxims take a long time to build. Their build time got nerfed a few patches back. So this is recommended for that reason. And then finally, machine guns gain 10% more experience. Maxims at VET 2 get a lot more suppression. I think it's 20% bonus. So trying to get them to VET 2 as quickly as possible is really helpful. You can actually suppress squads a lot more quickly. My recommended bulletin loadout for Vermarkt is this. 3% increased accuracy in Grenadiers. 7% increased range on the Panzerfaust. This is really helpful against light vehicles specifically. Like that extra little bit of range on the Panzerfaust really comes in clutch trying to slow down your enemies like vehicles and of course continues into the medium tank and heavy tank game but yeah it's really strong against light vehicles this is a great bulletin and then finally grenadiers get the five percent faster cooldown for an ostrupen build three percent increased accuracy this works for ostrupen as well seven percent increased panzerfaust range this also works for ostrupen despite not saying so here and then finally ostrupen squads at three percent harder to hit can make it a little bit more durable. It's quite nice because the yeah, received accuracy is quite high. Finally, don't be fooled by this bulletin. Dispatch time reduced by 10% for Austroop and squads. The way that the manpower and the cooldowns work these days, this bulletin is just, just about useless. Barely gives you any benefits, so do not use this bulletin. So those are the only two loadouts for Vermark that I really recommend, though there are a couple of other bulletins I'd like to give a shout out to. Telemines and S mine fields cost 6% percent less munitions that can be really helpful if you like to spam your mines and then finally down here flak panzer machine gun now inflicts suppression this can you know as it says suppress enemy squads if you like to use the flak panzer this can really catch your opponent off guard for us forces it's a little bit trickier a lot of the best bulletins come from beating the ardennes assault campaign so if you don't have one of these bulletins and you can't see it in the store that's most likely where it come from so my standard loadout for US Forces, Rifleman Game Veterancy 10% faster. This is an excellent bulletin, probably the best bulletin in the whole game. You usually build like three or four squads of riflemen and this makes them vet up more quickly. So this is honestly like the best bulletin in the game, must include. Next up, Rifleman get 3% increased accuracy. And finally, Rifleman and Rear Echelon Troops train and reinforce 10% faster. Be able to Train your riflemen faster, get them onto the field faster, that's really good. And then same for rear echelon. That alone probably wouldn't make it worthwhile, but then them reinforcing 10% faster as well puts this one over the top. So this is what I recommend for a standard US Forces build. And then for team games, riflemen gain 10% faster veterancy, still an include. I really like using bazookas in team games, so 5% range increase on that is really nice, can help you get an extra shot off. Maybe you don't have to close the distance so much to get shots in. That's really helpful. And then finally, Jacksons get 5% increased sight range and 4% increased speed. The Jacksons are generally a pretty big part of US Forces team game composition. So getting two bonuses, quite strong bonuses of that for the Jackson can be really nice. Honorable mention goes to this fuel cache bulletin, 5% cheaper and 10% faster to build. If you're going to be building a lot of caches in a team game, this is one to look for. Grenades can be thrown 7% further. This can really just come in handy in those team game scenarios as well, like just throwing those grenades a little bit further, maybe you can just catch your opponents off guard, especially if they're blobbing a lot. This can really be helpful. And people still don't expect grenades that commonly when facing US forces. 
the tech changes only just got implemented and now grenades are a lot cheaper to tech so this is one to look out for. For re-echelon spam we have re-echelons fire 1% more accurately and cool down 2% faster obviously an inclusion. Re-echelon train and reinforce 10% faster very good we covered that earlier. And then finally you're probably going to want to back them up with a 50 cal so 50 cal steal 5% more suppression much stronger than the 1% more suppression we saw on the Maxim earlier. My standard loadout for OKW is Fox Canadians get 3% increased accuracy, Fox Canadians 2% faster cooldown, 2% faster reload, and then finally Oversold Darden have 3% increased accuracy. This is not a fixed slot really. Okay, we don't have that many good bulletins, it's sad to say. So you might want to switch this in, maybe you are playing with uh, Jaeger Lights. So this is a good inclusion then. For team games, if you're going to be going for the Walking Stuka, definitely worth including this one. Walking Stuka Barrage is recharged 5% faster. This is just a really strong bulletin for firing off more shots with your Walking Stuka. Do include. And then finally, the OKW Panzer IV gets 5% increased armor. Okay, the Panzer IV already has heaps of armor, so this can really just push you to the next level. And the tank is quite accessible compared to a lot of the other tanks that we've been talking about. So it is a worthy inclusion. The Brits, similar to OKW, don't have that many good bulletins, but here's my standard loadout for them. Sections have 3% increased accuracy. Sections have 2% faster cooldown, 2% faster reload. And then finally, Mills Bombs can be thrown 7% further, similar to Riflemen can really catch your opponent off guard with those slightly longer range and people typically don't expect most bombs sections anyway so this can be a real neat nasty surprise honorable mention for this last slot you might want to go for commando submachine guns cooldown five percent faster if you like to use commandos or maybe even and this is scraping the bottom of the barrel four percent more penetration on your anti-tank gun and then for team games, still include infantry sections have 3% improved accuracy. Then we have the Sexton gains veterancy 10% faster. You may want to switch this out with the Land Mattress gains veterancy 10% faster if you're using that instead. But either way, I do recommend your artillery getting veterancy 10% faster. And then finally, if your machine gun reloads 10% faster. There are a lot more blobs in team games typically, so you want to be able to suppress them. And the Vickers has a 6 second reload, which is quite long, so Knocking 0.6 of a second off that can be really beneficial. Honorable mention here goes to the Comet. If you're going to be spamming Comets, maybe you want them to gain veterancy 5% faster. So here we are looking at the Code 2 Intel Bulletin Database. This is available at Code2DB.com. This is made by Yan252. This guy's a legend. Made things like Cheat Commands mod as well. Very cool dude. And if you see him around in Twitch chat or something like that, make sure you say thank you to him because he is uh, really just a pillar of the community. This is a little bit outdated, hasn't been updated for close to three years now, but bulletins haven't changed that much in the meantime, so we'll jump in and have a look. So this has got like a list of all the bulletins here with all the pictures as well. Really nice and pretty, really well made site. And this can help you just like look up bulletins, see what they do help you uh, maybe if you want to find oh what's every bulletin that fixed conscripts I want an all conscript bulletin loadout maybe you can't find them maybe you haven't bought them yet from the store so you don't know what's available so here they all are available so you can just find this information very easily and then perhaps you have a question like this says conscripts and grenadiers have 3% increased accuracy or does that affect assault grenadiers because Maybe they don't count as grenadiers, and there is a salt grenadier specific bulletin. But jumping in here to the target section, you can see that it does indeed affect assault grenadiers as well. It's like the artillery officer. So there you go, just a really nice resource here, Kotel, Kotu Intel Bulletin Database. And uh, if you want to do some bulletin research, this is the place to come. So if you want the most absolute up-to-date info on bulletins, you'll have to come to the tools at the moment. And uh, so you open up the attribute editor and then you come to the categories, go to upgrade, and then under upgrade, there is Intel bulletins. So here they all are here. So one that I was trying to look up just before was for the anti-tank grenade range on conscripts, because I wasn't exactly sure 
the description on that was a bit vague. That was actually one of the newer ones. So that's under war effort, Soviets, conscript anti tank grenade range. Then I open up the upgrade bag, actions, don't play actions, sub actions, blah, 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 blah. Then we just open up all these sub menus, and then here it is finally. So, so here you can see it affects the conscript anti tank grenade assault, which is in tank under tactics, not the re anti tank grenade, which is what I was trying to look up. And you can see it multiplies it by 1.07, so 7% bonus range. Simple. That's it for this installment, guys. If you're enjoying my content, please consider contributing through my Patreon page.